I'm 21. I started kind of on YouTube making videos when I was in high school um, because I just, I was always like kind of studious, but at the same time I was like, yo, like singing, I, I want to do that. I want something there. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but let's just, let's see. And I was like the only one kind of doing that at my school. So whenever it started to like blow up and start going off in, in college, whenever I first moved there, um, that was kind of like a slap in the face for me because I was like, oh wait, like this is actually going to happen. I'm actually going to like be able to kind of go after my dreams and, and do what I've always wanted to do. So um, then I think like my first semester in college, I had a DM from my producer now Romans. And he like told me like, yo, really like your stuff. Just want to see how we would, how we would mix in the studio. And then I went out there and it was so weird, like going to LA for the first time. And after like being not from a small city, but it was kind of a small city outside of Houston, um, to LA. And so like going there every other two weeks or something, but yeah, that's been my, my track so far. And I, I'm about to release my first album, which is insane, but yeah, it's been it's been real. My dad is from Mexico um, and my mom is from Ohio in the U.S. Um, so I kind of like I grew up. He didn't really speak Spanish to me growing up, so it, it sucked and I didn't get to learn anything. But going to like my my parents or my grandparents house um, on his side of the family, it just kind of showed me like, oh, I really want to learn Spanish and I want to do that. So it was frustrating at first because I was like, bro, like, how am I going to learn this in high school? I'm like, I'm past the age of being young and being able to learn it. But then I, I started to, I was a good student. So it just kind of came easily. And then now I'm, I'm continuing to learn and, and yeah. For Indica um, and kind of for a lot of my songs, I always like to go with the more not like chill, but something that just sounds like a synth or like scratchy, like it's on a record player almost. Um, so for Indica, that was where we just went all out with it and wanted to make it really, really fun um, because obviously it's about getting high and smoking weed. But the other thing, the thing that I really wanted out of it was that it was a chill song and that it could like, you could listen to it whenever you were sad or whenever you're just going through it or just whenever you wanted an escape. Um, so I know that there's a lot of things in there that kind of add to it, like a spacey, like, like you're in an open room. Um, and there's a, like a lot of echo reverb, different little crackling sounds that we put in to make it feel like that. Because I just, I like, I feel like I've always listened to Elvis Presley or jazz music where they always have those kinds of sounds in it. And to me, that's been like the most entrancing thing that I've heard in music. So I'll always just be like, you want to add like another little Thing like this to make it sound like that so I think that also carries over into my visuals because whenever we're planning things I'm just like I don't want bright I don't want like super yellow and everything like that I just I want it dark and kind of like very um just vibey like you're in another atmosphere it's my first award show so I'm like freaking out but at the same time just super excited like it hasn't hit me yet it's gonna hit me when I get there and I'm like oh shit like this is actually happening but um I have like this sick outfit for the red carpet I have a sick outfit for like the main performance and um the visuals are going to be it's gonna be kind of like it's my world like a very spacey galaxy kind of feel to it um and yeah I will be I'm going to say it just yellow. I'm going to be performing Besame Mucho and that's in the Latin American Music Awards. So I'm just, I'm very excited because I did a cover of that on Spotify, like my own little version of it. And um, it was about a year ago, like right before everything kind of kicked off with COVID and stuff. Um, and so now it's kind of weird to, to know that that was like sitting there and I, I loved it and I just had it. And now it's paved a way for me to perform with the llamas. So it's insane. What's up, Pulso Pop? It's Elena Castillo. And don't forget to check out my performance at the Latin American Music Awards.